I was working on a solo album and had four or five ideas, Ozzy Osbourne tells San Bernardino County Sun. But, you know, it's not cost-effective to make it like that anymore, you actually lose money because people aren't buying records anymore. A couple of songs, maybe it'll do that and put that out. It'll go to Sharon and say I want to do an album and then it'll go to her and say I don't want to do an album. I really can't make up my mind. Ozzy also discusses Ozfest meets Notfests, working with Zach Wilde, and History Channel I reality series, Ozzy Jack's World Detour. Read more at San Bernardino County Sun. While every festival and concert has a pit, this year's Ozfest meets Notfest will have the first ever charity pit, a special area within the festival village to raise funds and awareness for a variety of organizations. Representatives from Amnesty International, PETA, Love, Hope, Strength, and Rock Against MS, among others, will be on site to help spread the word, while also offering concertgoers fun and prizes including vintage merchandise, backstage access to the festival, meet and greets and more. Additional information on the charity pit can be found here. Here's some feedback from a few of the participating charities were excited to be part of the charity pit at OzFest Meets Not Fest. We have amnesty tables at concerts and festivals around the country to talk to fans about human rights issues and ask them to take action by signing our petitions and on social media. Amnesty International USA Love Hope Strength is thrilled to be involved in this year's OzFest Meets Not Fest and will use the festival as a platform to further our mission saving lives, one concert at a time. We accomplish this by encouraging concert goers to get on the bone marrow donor list in an effort to find life-saving marrow donors for blood cancer patients in need of transplants. This is done by completing a simple contact form and cheek swab and is 100% free. We couldn't do what we do without the festivals, artists and fans who help us thrive and we are eternally grateful for the support of OzFest and NotFest. Get on the list Love Hope Strength thanks to supporters like Prophets of Rage and OzFest Meets Not Fest. PATH is proud to continue to provide permanent homes and supportive services for the most vulnerable individuals and families in California. It is because of this support that we are confident in our ability to reach our goal of helping 10,000 people make it home by 2020. PATH PETA's Flesh is for Zombies booth will remind people that animals deserve to live, not be chopped up for the mindless messes. PETA A video trailer for OzFest Meets Not Fest is available for streaming below. Special pre-fest kickoff Friday, November 3rd for all ticketed campers. Tickets are on sale now at OzFest.com and NotFest.com. Ozzy Osbourne last year's show with Black Sabbath was just incredible and I'm thrilled to be coming back this year with Zach, Tommy, Blasco and Adam to headline the 21st anniversary of OzFest. Slipknot's Clown It's That Incredible Time Again where OzFest and NotFest meet up to bring all music fans together for two days of rock and roll. Let's not forget the beautiful culture we are involved in and the history that is being written. Join the true passion of our concepts. I'll see you there. Stay sick. Sharon Osborne OzFest Meets NotFest is coming back for another round. Last year we had over 75,000 people attend and we have another great lineup this year with Ozzy's first solo show in LA in more than six years. This is not just another show, it's OzFest meets NotFest and this year's event means the world to me as well be amongst friends like Prophets of Rage, Rob Zombie, Deftones, Marilyn Manson and Stone Sour. It's going to be another amazing weekend. Corey Taylor Slipknot Stone Sour NotFest was never supposed to be exclusively about Slipknot. It was always about the things that fueled the spirit of Slipknot music, art, passion, insanity, and the tribes that give it power. So it would make sense for NotFest to carry on these ideas, even without Slipknot. Because these things are the gasoline of creativity, and there's plenty to go around, with plenty of great bands, acts and things to see. Teaming up again with OzFest means another weekend of the biggest, baddest, loudest and best. I hope you all will join us it's going to be sick. The multi-stage, two-day weekend camping event will include more than 40 acts OzFest Saturday, November 4th Main Stage Ozzy Osbourne, Prophets of Rage, Deftones, Children of Bodom, Orange Goblin Second Stage Creator, Baroness, High on Fire, Iron Reagan, 1349, Havoc, King, Tombs, Night Demon, Thrown into Exile Nuclear Blast Extreme Stage Possessed, Suffocation, Foluja, Rings of Saturn NotFest Sunday, November 5th Main Stage Rob Zombie, Marilyn Manson, Stone Sour, 18 Visions, Prayers Second Stage Age Testament, Life of Agony, Black Dahlia Murder, Upon a Burning Body, Gotor, Death Angel, Code Orange, Oni, Stitched Up Heart, Dead Nuclear Blast Extreme Stage Repulsion, Exhumed, Warbringer, Ghoul.